Hello everyone and welcome back to John's Food Review. Today we're going to be trying some Queen Anne's Cherry Cordials. So there's two ver or two um, flavors. There's four. But one of them's the original, which I've already had. And then one was a French vanilla. I'm like, fuck that shit. Uh, so this is uh, dark chocolate, which sounds absolutely scrumptious. And then um, a Cherry Cola which uh, I think actually we'll start with this just in case it's not to a uh, satisfactory level. I'm sure it'll be good, but I mean, dark chocolate, absolutely scrumptious. So uh, yeah, so it's Queen Anne's and uh, if these aren't good, it looks like I'm gonna have to take some revenge, you know, Queen Anne's revenge. All right. Oh, okay. I thought it was just one of these, but there's two of these and there's one, two, three, five in each. We're just gonna have one. I don't need really need to eat more than one of these. Oh, it's one of these bendy ones. Bendy and the cherry foliage cork chills. The new game coming out on Steam. All right, so for those who don't know, Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, the flavor is absolutely good. It's like. It's like taking a can of cherry cola and stuffing it in your mouth with chocolate. No, those are actually really good. I mean, it tastes like chocolate and there's like a bit of bubbliness to it because of the cherry cola. That is really good. I actually didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. That's it's delicious. I think I'll try it a second time. <laughs> no. Oh, if I want to try it a second time, it's so you have a, a total of 10 of them. Like I said, they come in these little things right here and there's five of them per tray. So there's 10 in total. And of course it does say 10 on the box, as you can see, 10 pieces, but that is really good. Like I said, it does have like a bubbliness to it, which is weird. Five, uh, two pieces. Okay, then maybe I can have one up. Hmm. Wow. I didn't think that would work as well as it did. But having tried it, and like I said, I, I remember drinking cherry cola a lot back in the day. And it was pretty good. And then I just kind of stopped drinking it. But to kind of retaste it in chocolate like that, like I said, it does have a little hint of bubbliness. You know, that little, you know, tickles your nose. It was to get on your nose. Um, very surprising. Very surprising. Palette cleanser. And now what I'm looking forward to, the dark chocolate. Ooh. Thank Lucifer below. He's never doubt, you know, never let me down with dark chocolate. Every time I've tried dark chocolate, it's always on point. Uh, dark chocolate is just amazing. So. These look absolutely fabulous. Oh, yeah. You pick it up, and as soon as you smell it, you can smell that just the dark chocolate. Let me know what kind of chocolate person you are. Are you a dark chocolate? Are you milk chocolate? Are you 
sweet chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, bitter chocolate, white chocolate, that chocolate, brown chocolate, white chocolate, green chocolate. What chocolate are you? <sighs> hmm. It kind of has a like a coffee aftertaste. I mean, these are dark chocolate, right? Yeah. But it does have like a hint of espresso or coffee or something. But, um, like dark chocolate is great, even if it's just the tiniest little hint of it, because it's such a pronounced, you know, bold flavor that even if there's a hint of it, you can still taste it. And that's what I love about dark chocolate. Uh, cause you don't need a whole, if you're baking with it or, you know, whatever, you don't need a lot of it cause it has such a distinct bold flavor that if you put too much of it in, then that dark chocolate is just going to take over whatever it is, just a, a small amount. And it really, inter you know, interacts and brings out not only the flavor of everything else, but it has a very own, its own distinct flavor. And that's what I love about dark chocolate. It's just, like regular milk chocolate and everything, you know, you have to put so much in and even then sometimes the, the chocolate flavor just isn't there, but a little piece of, you know, dark chocolate is enough to really bring, bring things together. And I, I just, and it's good for you. So there's always that. Yeah. And what's great about these is they look big, but the, 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 the chocolates encased in is very thin. So it's not nearly as much chocolate as it looks like, as you would think, you know, those look fairly big, right? But it's a very thin layer of chocolate. So it, it, for me, it seems like it's just the right amount of chocolate because you got the, you know, the inside. But then you have that small, thin outer shell casing it. And it also, obviously, like you guys know, I'm a textural, you know, for, you know, for the textural. And you get that nice crunch on the outside, but then it goes to like that gooey, you know, inside. And would I enjoy them as much if they were all gooey? No, I need a textural, you know, difference. I need something, you know, a little bit of a crunch to go with that little bit of gooey, you know, flowing you know, insides. And, you know, it's like when you have like a sandwich or something, it's all like softer components. I need something on that sandwich to give it a bit of a crunch because I can't just eat something soft. <laughs> um. Like I've said before, if there's like a, a burger or um, something like that, I have to put something like crispy onions or crispy bacon or lettuce or some, something to give it some kind of textural difference because the bun is soft, the patty is soft, the cheese doesn't really have much of a textural because it just kind of melts. So you need something to break that up. And with these, it's really good because you got that outer shell of chocolate, which has that crunch. You got that gooey inside. And uh, it just works well. And like I said, not it looks like it's a lot of chocolate, but it's so such a thin uh, layer that the whole th as a whole, it's not really not that much. And uh, you know, it, for me, that's the perfect amount of chocolate. Um, I mean, they could put if this was like a peanut butter one, if it was like a you know same thing with these, you know, except instead of cherry, it's a peanut butter. That would be great. Um, and you do it like cookie dough or something like that. Just anything sweet or something you can put inside a case of chocolate. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I think about that. Um, but yeah, obviously, I mean, dark chocolate. I'm 
I don't think I'm ever going to have anything bad to say about dark chocolate. And I'm just surprised about the cherry cola one. I honestly thought I was going to hate it. I honestly thought I was going to be like, okay, this is fucking disgusting. Why did I buy this? But no, it's really good. Um, so you haven't, if you haven't had them, I suggest buying them, trying them out. Cause like I said, when you bite in, you know, when you bite into it or just stick the whole thing in your mouth, cause it's no point biting into it. Uh, the first thing is like this burst of liquid from like the cherry cola part. And you know, it tastes like you're, you know, so it basically tastes like you take a can of cherry cola and you know, but it has just the smallest hint of bubbliness to it. Because when you're tasting it, you're it's like, okay, well, it's just like cherry cola flavored syrup or something. But then as you're, you know, num, 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 num on it, uh, it has a bit of a bubbliness and, you know, what you would expect from cherry cola. So, really surprised. Uh, again, I, there was a French vanilla one. I was like, fuck that. Um, French vanilla sounds like a boring flavor. I mean, I'm sure it's delicious, but it's just I'm not one. I'm not one for vanilla flavors because it's just it was like vanilla ice cream. It's just, but and then there's the milk chocolate one, which obviously I've I've had before. These two I haven't had, um, so that's why I picked these out of the four. I wonder what other. Well, to the internet. Hang on. All right, so we're on the Queen Anne's Revenge. No, it's uh, the Queen Anne's uh, Cordial's site. So it looks like they only have one other one that I, I would love to try. A dark chocolate coconut cordial cherries. Dark chocolate coconut. Now that sounds absolutely scrumptious, which it really does. I love dark chocolate. I love coconut. You know, especially when you put the lime in it. God, you're fucking stupid. Um, mm. Cherry Cola, we... Uh, let's see. And Oh, I think these are just different size boxes. And different style boxes. Okay. So, they've got milk chocolate, dark chocolate, dark chocolate coconut, French vanilla, and cherry cola. Oh, let's read the description. The sweet, creamy taste of coconut surrounds a whole maraschino cherry and in robes and is enrobed with rich dark chocolate for a decadent holiday treat. Ooh. Well, just fuck me in my ear holes, why don't ya? What about French vanilla? I mean, they, they need to sell me on that one. Uh, floating in a creamy French vanilla center. Well, the magnifique. Oh, so you're trying to throw some French at me to try to get me to buy it? I don't think so. Uh, let's see. What do they say about the dark chocolate? No, 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 no. Where, where is it? Dark chocolate. Feeling decadent. Yes. <laughs> Bend it in a creamy center and treat yourself. So it's really all essentially the same thing, but... Magnifique. But, um, yeah, that was actually really surprising. Again, like, you can pretty much find them anywhere. Like, I think, like, any store you go into, you should be able to find these. So, I mean, these were at fucking Dollar General. So, go to Walmart, Ingles, BJ's, Harris Teeter, Food Lion, uh, whatever you guys shop at, it, they'll be there. They'll be there. But anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.